Hi, my name is Caitlin and I'm part of the Geosciences Department here at the University of Texas at Dallas. And I am here to tell you a story 73 million years in the making. On August 3rd, 1971, in the harsh landscape of the Gobi Desert in Mongolia, a team of six paleontologists stumbled across a find that would rock the paleontological world. You see, buried in the stone were two dinosaurs, a Velociraptor mongoliensis and a Protoceratops andrusi. And to the shock of absolutely everyone, it appeared as if they were fighting. This is the story of what we believe may have happened. Approximately 73 million years ago, under the beating heat of the late Cretaceous sun, a Velociraptor found a scent. Following it, the predator soon found the owner of the scent, a Protoceratops. Now, the Protoceratops is a small creature, barely bigger than a sheep. In all honesty, it shouldn't have been an issue for a predator such as a Velociraptor. Unfortunately, the Velociraptor was also small, being barely bigger than a turkey, though it wasn't helpless. Sporting a mouthful of razor-sharp teeth and a 2.5-inch long curved claw on each foot, it stood a chance. Or it would have if the Protoceratops wasn't also armed with its own defenses. Sporting a frill typical of the Ceratopsian order, Protoceratops was small but mighty. Not only that, but it had a very strong beak, one that was more than capable of snapping bones. Because of this, it normally wasn't a creature that Velociraptor would target. Although, for some reason today, it must have been different. Perhaps the Protoceratops was sick or old, or perhaps the Velociraptor was absolutely desperate. Whatever the case, the Velociraptor decided that the Protoceratops would make a great meal. Leaping from cover, the Velociraptor would have most likely jumped on the back of the Protoceratops, using its long killing claw to inflict deep wounds on the creature. Unwilling to die without a fight, the Protoceratops would have bucked and kicked, trying to dislodge its attacker like a bucking bronco tries to dislodge its rider, and eventually it would succeed. The Velociraptor was sent tumbling towards the ground, and the Protoceratops would start attacking back, charging over to the predator and using its heavy weight to try to step on it. Eventually, it would have grabbed the Velociraptor's right arm in its powerful beak, snapping the bone in two as the predator fought back against this, using its left arm to scratch the Protoceratops' skull. Unfortunately for it, during this, the Velociraptor managed to land a lucky hit, burying its killing claw in the Protoceratops' chest, and then it was over, and not because one of the creatures killed the other one, but instead, their fighting had dislodged Earth, creating a massive landslide that would forever bury them and this gruesome steen in stone, to be discovered 73 million years later.